Hey New Dawn, how are you? This is Pastor Irwin and my beautiful wife is actually recording this and um, I just wanted you guys to take a moment to watch this video um, just because I feel so strong in my heart that we really, really need to prepare for this time of prayer and fasting. Um, I just, I'm so amazed over the years that how the tool of prayer and fasting really, really does bring change in our life and bring change in churches, bring change on the earth. I do really, from my heart, believe that it's the number one tool that God has given us to bring change on the earth. And I just really want you guys to get ready. I just want to go over a couple of points with you. If you could really take time to just, probably about two minutes, if you could watch this. And uh, I just want to encourage you and I want you to get ready, get really pumped up for what is going to take place starting this Sunday. Uh, number one is that when we pray and fast, we honor God. What we're doing is we're crucifying our flesh and, and, and we're saying, Lord, speak to us. Lord, I, I, I just want to know you. I want to hear from you. It's like we blot out everything else so that we can hear God's voice, that we can um, spend time with Him. And it's really important that intimacy is really number one on that. Um, number two, for your life. Um, why is fasting so important? Well, I'll tell you this. Uh, uh, some things happen only by prayer and fasting. And I want you to know that when it comes to the attacks of the enemy or anything like that, I want you to know that prayer and fasting is, is prayer on steroids. It really makes an impact in your life. And you'll be able to hear God clearer for your own life. And I really am praying that you get the answers that you need, that you, that you go to God and that He speaks to you about what's going on in your life and, and in your family. Uh, number three, it's important for unity, for you to be a part. I'm asking you, to, if, you're, if you're a member of this church, I'm asking you to, to take this serious and be a part of this. Unity is important. And, and as you uh, get more involved and as you partake um, of this, of, of when we call a corporate prayer and fasting, you know, you're bringing unity to the body of Christ. You're bringing unity to our church. You matter. And so you're, you're that missing piece of the puzzle that we need, and I'm telling you, the stronger, the more that we have that are in unity, the, the more power God releases. Um, this is going to be starting, it's a, it's a two-week fast, and I'm going to explain that in a moment, but it starts uh, Sunday night, uh, September 13th at 8 p.m., and it's going to go all the way to Sunday, September 27th, where, of course, we're going to end with a great celebration, uh, celebrating Founders Day, and it's going to be an incredible time. You don't want to miss it. It is going to be celebratory, and I believe God is going to show up strong on that day. But let me explain what kind of fast we're doing. We're asking you to fast one meal a day. That means whatever your regular diet is, let's just use the easy example of three different meals, you're going to cut out one of those meals and replace it with prayer. We're asking that you make sure that as you fast, you know, you need to pray. You know, it's not just taking the meal out. I always say this, and you guys have heard it a million times, but fasting without prayer equals hunger. So we want you to make sure that you pray during that time. Um, for myself, just as an example, um, I fast, you know, uh, what I do is that at 5 p.m., um, I stop eating and I fast the rest of the day till the next morning because I know at nighttime I can get that quality time with the Lord. For you it may be different, but that's what we encourage you to do. We also have four different home groups that are opening up uh, throughout the week, Monday through Thursday. We added one on Monday. And so Monday it's in, um, I think, in the Hollywood Hills area. Tuesday is in Compton. Wednesday is in Burbank. And Thursday is in L.A. So you have different places to choose from where you can go and pray and get with other believers. Listen, we're asking you, make the effort to go to one of these groups. You really need it. We want you there. It's going to be a powerful time. Our goal is to be in and out in about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. We want to respect people's homes, but we want to get there and pray and intercede. And the last thing I ask you to do is to prepare yourself. Um, you're going to be receiving an email. You probably did already. Uh, uh, you're going to be seeing this tomorrow. But uh, So yesterday, an email went out with my notes on prayer and fasting. You need to go through that. All Everything I, I told you is in that email. Everything, the details of how we're fasting, what's important, what to pray for, all those different things are in that email. Um, and, I'm, and, and what's important, too, is that you take time 
to right now prepare yourself and what what does that look like like just take time to repent go before the Lord ask him to purify you ask him to forgive you ask him to go through your life Lord I'm not going to have anything before you that's this time of preparing we need to get ready for that when we go into prayer and fasting I really pray that you're encouraged by this video I pray that um, it, it would just uh, cause you to stir you in your spirit to really take this serious because I believe with all my heart that this is going to catapult not only your life but our church into another dimension. I, I really believe that. I believe that God wants to do something powerful. And I believe prayer and fasting is the key to as a church to go in that direction. I love you guys. My wife and I love you. She's recording right now. And uh, we love you guys. Appreciate you. And uh, we'll see you Sunday.